Houston, we've had a problem. Now, I've asked a lot of people, and this has apparently never happened to anybody before, where the lug nut breaks like that, stud is fine. That done broke it off right up in there. See, I think what happened is because these freaking fancy wheels that turn to shit in a hurry, all the chrome's peeling off everywhere. Anyway, they encased these lug nuts in a metal chrome, or po it's probably polished metal cap. And uh, basically, all that did is it held in moisture and Probably that's why this lug nut here got locked on so hard that the lug nut actually sheared in two. That's only the wedge in there. I've actually got one of these fancy damn reverse thread, whatever, reverser machuchers, and it won't even grab onto it. Not, not to mention that it's only a uh, small drive, three-eighths, um, or whatever. So um, we're going to have to give her the Gundy here, and we're going to have to... Uh, Take this carbide drill bit here, drill a pilot hole. And I don't know if you can see that, but it has coolant holes in it for which I will not be pumping coolant into it. Oh, look at that, it's noon. Shit, and I haven't even started yet. Anyway, I'm gonna drill this out, and then I'm gonna step it up, and step it up, and step it up, and hopefully the I'll hog it out enough to where I'll just, uh, you know, Free her up. If it was a steel wheel, it would probably be a different situation. Could probably still have access to most of the head and at least torch it out. A hot wrench should probably work a lot faster and quicker, but because you got the fancy wheel package on here, fucking shit got complicated. So it's noon. I'm going to see how long it takes me to rip through it, and if I don't rip through it, I don't know what I'm going to do. We'll find out later. Oh, and before I forget, get you one of these auto punches. Line that right up in the center and end up spiking you a hole. Ooh, chippies. I'm not going to do it because I need to line myself up and I'm not going to hold the camera and this at the same time. That would just be stupid. But get you one. Alright, about 20 minutes in and I'm about half the length of the drill bit in. So I think I'm going to step it up to the next size now and see what... Alright, it's only been... Work with me. Work with me. 34 minutes. And somehow or another I managed to magically drill the stud out pretty much on center. Oh, there we go. So my next bit is going to be this big bastard, which I believe is the inside diameter of the lug nut because I checked it. Oh, that's not going to happen. Yeah, and it's actually a little bit bigger. So this uh, this bit should come off out with the lug nut on it. And if it doesn't, then uh, I'm going to have to go to the next level, I guess. We'll find out. Jesus, what a mess. It's... Uh, 48 and I think basically what's happened now is I don't know if you can see it get some zoom action there and maybe a focus no no focusing okay you can barely see it but I've actually broken through uh, down to the hub and I, you can actually see the hub now um, it's just a little bit off-center and you can see there's just a bit of metal on here Pretty much all the other way around it. I hogged it out So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all the rest of the lug nuts off and I'm just gonna try to Break the stud the rest of the way. I guess it can't be much thicker than the threads and maybe a couple thousands so uh, All right A little bit more chooching on the drill here Oh, uh, just hold this, whatever, because, just hold it, yeah, like that. 
Oh my goodness, oh look my at that. Goodness. Yeah. Is it in focus? Are you getting the shot? I'm getting the shot. So, where's the other part of the lug nut? Here it is. Ooh. So this was attached to this like that. And it went boop when I uh, tried to break it off with my handy 10 pound breaker bar. So I had to drill the stud out. Oh look, you can actually see the thread. Just barely nicked them. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, let me see the camera here. So now all that dirty shit finally broke off. And now, it's uh, oh look at that boys. Exactly one hour to drill that son of a bitch out. Let's see, you can see the stud is completely... Now I can just knock it out. So, there you go. Exactly an hour of my time completely wasted because Chrysler thought they were being fancy. Thanks, thanks for nothing. Thanks. Oh, by the way, thanks, Dad, for the drill bits. You're the fucking man. All right, the Chrysler Corrosion Chronicle continues. This is the one that had the... Uh, stud locked up in it and then here's all the other ones you can see the chrome plating of the wheel is just just ticked i mean jesus and here's the stud focus good news anyone it wasn't that hard you can see that rotors just spanked i mean this thing needed new brakes probably uh, a month ago, but I'm um, dirty old procrastinator. But obviously, procrastination did not cause all of this corrosion on my part. Uh, we've only had, we haven't even had the car for a year, right? No. Here. So, lesson learned. Probably gonna buy some steel wheels for this and some regular old fashioned lug nuts. Because uh, this bullshit ain't gonna keep happening. Oh, look at that. More shit just dangling around. Yeah. Awesome. Anyway, yep, she chooched. <laughs>